Your challenge this week is to make the best espresso recipe possible over Zoom. There's a lot of things that come to mind that could go wrong here. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. and welcome back to another episode of Battle of the Beans, the show where four baristas compete in a series of mystery coffee challenges. I am your host, Caro. And I am your other host, Ashifa. And a huge welcome back to our eager baristas, Addison, Josh, Kimia, and Marissa. How are you all doing? Andy like a lion. Marissa has won every single challenge on the show so far. I mean, it's not a competition, but it kind of is a competition. So I don't know if Team Europe, like, I don't know if you guys want to make a comeback. I don't know how how, how are you guys feeling. Have you have you been practicing? Give me give me the give me the deets. So you've heard of an underdog story, right? Um, here we are. This probably isn't one of them. <laughs> Just get ready for it. So baristas, your challenge this week is to make the best espresso recipe possible, but you will not be drinking it yourself. Oh no, that is that is too easy. Instead, you're going to have a limited amount of time to teach your judge to make the espresso themselves over Zoom. To do this challenge, each of you have been sent a dream home espresso setup by our friends at Ranchilio, and as well as a bag of Intelligentsia's Black Cat Espresso Blend. And who is our guest judge this week? Well, everyone, I would like you to welcome World Latte Art Champion, barista at Plant Shed in New York City, and former Barista League competitor, UJ Lee. Thank you so much for joining us this week. Hi. Hey, UJ. Hello. Thank you so much for like having me here. It will be great. Like I feel so amazed. Um, looking forward to it all. Please teach me make the best espresso. I'm looking forward to it. No pressure, everyone. UJ will be judging your espresso on four criteria. The taste balance, the texture, the flavor, and how well you can teach him to dial in your coffee in 15 minutes. UJ, is there anything in particular that you are looking for? I always enjoy um, the espresso when it's really sweet and balanced. And I also enjoy the acidity as well. So if you have those kind of like flavors bring it out, then I'll be really enjoy it. Okay, baristas. So you heard it here first. Sweetness and balance with a nice acidity. Keep that in mind when you're teaching UJ how to dial in your coffee. Happy brewing and may the best cup win. Cool. Hello, party people. I'm so sorry. Our task this week is to dial in this Intelligentsia Black Cat Blend Espresso. Uh, I'm essentially trying to design a espresso recipe for this coffee. We're going to hop on a video call with Ujay Lee, who is going to basically follow instructions as we try to instruct him on how to extract the perfect espresso. So we're working with grind size, we're working with temperature, and then we're working with, uh, for espresso at least, we're working with dose. All right, so let's get down to business. Not to defeat the Huns. Oh, I just inhaled it up my nose. <laughs> I'm just trying to drown myself in espresso. Oh, yeah, way over extracted. Oh, yeah, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh. Boom, that one might be it. The balance is spot on. Like this is full bodied, it has a really mild acidity and it really, it coats my mouth and it's just like beautiful chocolatey flavor. It's got a beautiful balance, great texture to it, beautiful mouthfeel. Uh, I really am impressed with that. I have this awesome shot of espresso and I'm gonna share it with Uche. So, 
Today, we are going to be brewing the perfect espresso. Well, I can start a timer for 15 minutes and we can, we can do this. It is going to be 16 grams in with a yield of 42 grams out. And the initial time that we're looking for is about 30 seconds. I, in a panic, had written down that the recipe we were searching for was 16 grams in and 42 out. And after watching this, I realized that that's not math. So I literally just wrote 32 wrong. If you can make sure that your grinder is set to grind setting number five, we're gonna start with a 16 gram dose, grinding it at an eight, and we're gonna be pulling it at a one to two ratio. One to two ratio, so 32? 32. Uh, and what time? Uh, we are shooting for a time of around 27 seconds. We've got it at 97 degrees. We're at number four, 17 grams, 35 grams out. So if you could stop, if you could stop it at around 33, that'd be great. It is a one to 2.25 recipe, 16 grams in, and then 36 grams out, somewhere in either 23 to 25 or 20 to 23. If you got a little bit too much, just take that spoon and take out a few Actually, grams. We have exactly 16. I actually got exactly 16. Wow. Okay, you are a pro. Perfect. Now it is time to brew that espresso. What, what's the time now? Uh, 30 seconds. Because we're at 30 seconds, I'm going to ask you just to dial back mm -hmm. the grinder by one, a single notch. If that's okay. Yeah, single notch to. So, so coarser. I'd like you to go a single notch. Yeah, coarser. Okay. 34 grams within um, 17 seconds. Okay, cool. Uh, so we're gonna make the grind a little bit finer, finer to course correct for that. 24 seconds and 30, uh, 42 out. In that case, we are actually going to tighten the grinder a little bit to get a little bit more of a finer grind. Um, mine looks kind of like coarse. You pulled it a little faster. Yeah. So I get um, 37 grams. Um, at 20 seconds. Mm, sour, <laughs> obviously. It's a little bit too sour. For the next dose, raise it by 0.2 grams and try again. So instead of 16, we're gonna do 16.2. Time to brew. All right, let's go round two. It stopped at How um, quick 20, was it? 30 what? seconds. And it pulled the 37 out, because it's a little faster. Ah, rubbish. We were doing so well, and then we, I, I brought it too far one way. Okay, cool. So could you repeat the action that you just did? So yeah, um, go back finer okay. by one notch. Does it seem to be pulling a little bit better, or is it about the same? About the same. Uh, 22 seconds. 22 seconds. Okay, cool. Um, so closer to where we want to be, but not quite there yet. Um, Okay. We'll go ahead and make the grind one point finer. So we'll go down to five. No. 26 and 42. There's no in like the bitterness, any flavors, but I will say okay. a little sour. I think we need to try um, once more. Let's do it one level finer. Yeah, let's try 16.5. That's uh, three more instead, I guess. But tastes better than the it other two. better. It's not completely there yet. Let's try, let's just try adding uh, 0.3 more. So 16.8. Okay. Uh, about the same. About the same? Wow. Do you have enough time? Uh, I think this is going to be the last okay. shot. I'm nervous now. You got it. I believe in you. Okay, come on. And here we go. Yes. <laughs> try number three. <laughs> So we are at um, 29. 29 seconds and 32 grams out. 27 seconds and 35 out. Yes! Yes! This is it. This is the one. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the best shot of Intelligentsia Black Cat that has ever been on the planet. So here we go. Cheers. Cheers. There you go, Josh. Yes! It's like perfect acidity, tangerine, like acidity, a little into it. I get like medium body. It's How nice are you feeling about the texture? Texture yeah. is really smooth. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling like 
That tastes delicious. It's quite balanced. I mean, a little sour into it. I really enjoyed it. I think the last one is like the best one out of these awesome. four. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. How does it make you feel? I feel like an, I, I found a good coffee shop to get the right espresso. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. That's that's what I was going for. Okay, time. Alrighty. You're the best. No, you're the best. Thank teacher. you. Thank you. So I hear you met somebody new. <gasps> I did. You know, it's truly the only stable relationship that I've ever been in. What I love most about them is they kind of keep their temper exactly where it needs to be. It's almost like this thermal stability. Excellent multitasker. I mean, they make me coffee and steam milk at the same time, and it's not even a big deal. Yeah, that's hard to find. What's her name? <laughs> Sylvia. Sylvia Pro. Welcome back, everyone. How was this week's challenge? Ah, ah it was hard. <laughs> I am feeling a moderate amount of confidence with a hint of skepticism and concern. Mm, sounds like a nice balance. Uh, and Marissa, on the fly, you made it. I felt like you just you made a decision to increase the dose to get the right yield in the time. Yeah, I think the reason why I wanted to do a up dosing instead of um, changing the steps is mostly because I just wanted at least one level of a little bit more consistency that way. And then up dosing the, the grinds, I was really like that. Like, you know, I also play with it as well. Like, depends on the humidity, how my cafe conditions are. But um, I think that was a really great, like, decision to do it. Yeah, I also had some, some troubles kind of locking in on the right flavors. It was kind of like picking and choosing, like every espresso was like, all right, we got a little bit of this, a little bit of this, but none of it was really going in the right direction. It was just kind of parts of, like elements of both recipes and flavors that I was getting. But then I guess another challenge was also the visuals that we couldn't, through the video, see the espresso being brewed. And that for me was kind of like the hardest thing because I wanted to also know, okay, what does the espresso look like when it's coming out? Like, how is the flow? You know, sometimes when you go to like the traditional way, like, you know, you get all the like strong flavors, but um, it has like, you no know, like more water into it. So I get the, like all the good, like, you know, present like flavors. So I really enjoyed it. All right, I'm going to announce this week's challenge winner is Edison! Yeah! Woo! Yeah. Hey! Well done, Edison! Congrats! <laughs> yeah! Congratulations! Thank you. Thank you very much! So, I mean, Edison uh, recipe uh, reminds me the, like, the espresso that I ever had, like, in the first time. So it was really, like, impressive. And then bring me back to my early, like, 2000. Oh, so it was really oh. nice. I, like, that you said that the the shot that you had that I instructed you to make was nostalgic for you. I think it's really beautiful when coffee does that. I can retire these now, they've done their job. You have <laughs> <laughs> Team Atlanta strikes again. Guys, I don't know how we're feeling about this because this is what, like the sixth episode in and Team Atlanta's like just coming in strong. Will and can Team Europe make a comeback? I guess you'll have to wait two weeks for the next challenge to find out. And if you want to hear some tips from the competitors and judges about how to dial in an espresso, head to thebrewersleague.com to see a special behind the scenes video from this week's challenge. And we will see you all right back here for another episode very soon. Make sure you have your notifications turned on so that you can be the first to know when a new episode drops. Happy brewing! Bye! Bye. Bye. See you. Thanks again for tuning into another episode of Battle of the Beans. We have some amazing things planned for this season, so make sure that you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications for when new episodes drop. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram where you can see all the behind the scenes action and goss from this season's show. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.